Hi friends, I am so excited to share with you my latest collection with American Crafts, Stay Sweet. It's bright, sunshine filled, and incredibly cute. You may have already seen it on Instagram or in the Creativation videos, but I wanted to share a thorough walkthrough here and show you a couple of projects that I made with it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. First up is the 12 by 12 paper pad. This collection is whimsical and fun. It features fruits, cute little critters, and popsicles. It's a beautiful mix of pastel tones and vibrant ones, highlighted with rose gold accents. I think it's the perfect collection for spring and summer spreads or journaling and documenting those everyday happy moments. We also have hedgehogs featured throughout the whole line. We haven't named him yet, but some people have suggested Harold and others. This is a six by eight paper pad, which is new for the collection. And it's a great size instead of the six by six because you have a little bit more room. Here's the specialty paper. It's a transparency with rose gold on it. The die cuts come in a waterfall packaging and you get a variety of sizes and shapes that you can check out in the back here. They're spread out all over the table and are really, really fun and versatile to use for any of your paper projects. Here are our favorite inflated ephemera. There's six designs and the backs are really cute too. Next up is the roller phrase stamp with really cute happy mail phrases. These thickers are awesome because the top part is shiny and then the bottom part is glitter and it's swapped on the other side. So you get the full alphabet. Enamel hearts matching the collection are always a great find and another pack of thickers called Roll With It. These are actually printed foam, which is really interesting because we haven't had anything like this before. Here is everybody's favorite sticker book. There are multiple pages, so there are over 400 stickers in this eight page sticker book. Some of them are clear and some of them are paper. They are so fun to use in planners and we decided to do two sets of alphabets, the colored ones and the clear with a rose gold. Here's a new product, the Puffy Emboss Stickers. They have a fun texture and are rubbery, just like these mini puffy stickers, but they have dimension to them and they are slightly embossed. You can kind of tell the difference here. We have the faux suede flowers once again. These are stickers and these are magnetic bookmarks. They clip onto a page nicely for planners and I can put them onto a variety of paper projects. So you can see there, boop, it, magnetizes <laughs> or it sticks together like a magnet, you know, that kind of thing. And here are the washi tape rolls. There are eight rolls included with these fun patterns and designs. This is probably my favorite new product, if you haven't heard yet. I have a watercolor set finally. This has been in the works for a really long time and it is the ultimate travel watercolor set. It comes in this box and looks like a sunglass case and that's about the size of it. It feels really good. It sort of has this rubber matte texture and everything comes inside of it that you see here. Watercolors are probably one of my favorite creative tools and this one is perfect for when you're on the go because it doesn't just include everything that you see here. The possibilities are truly endless. There's a water brush, a container for water, a pen that is waterproof, a pencil, a sponge for cleaning your brush, as well as the 12 different colors and also a little palette. The water container does need to have a poked hole when you get it, so just keep that in mind and you can just do that with a paper piercer. And I apologize for the lighting in this next series of clips because I was doing this before I headed out to Creativation to make booth samples and I did not have lighting at all that was good as you can see how it keeps changing here but I did want to share with you the process of this layout coming together because I think that there is still value in that. So it was either seeing what you see here or nothing and I'm just taking the products and using them in a way that I can showcase their versatility, but also have this cute little scrapbook page made that would fit into a frame that was going to be at the show. I took two Instax photos that I printed from my phone through the Instax SQ10 printer. And what I did was, it was great because it's wireless printer and I'll probably do an updated video on that. And I wanted to try to use as many of the products as possible by sharing with you guys how uh, this page came together, basically. 
So as you see, my process is pretty simple. I like to layer and pick out die cuts and add things and take them away just to see how they look. That's the nice thing about these products is that you can mix and match and also take some chances. You know, try new things when you're playing around, move things around if you want, you know, express yourself creatively through the use of the products. Don't let the products stifle your creativity because you might want to save them for something else. You can always get more. See, I put adhesive on the back, but decided that I wanted to pop it up instead. So I'm just adding the pop dots down there. I'm going to do the same thing with the camera to add a little bit of dimension as well. When you look at your creative projects and your supplies, I want to encourage you to really use them and maximize your use for them. I always think of layering washi tape and using tape as the traditional in the traditional way, but you can also do so many different things with it. And I like to just have it around. I split the difference with the circles and made them half circles by putting that rose gold on top of it. There's just different things you can experiment with. And I love that we partnered with a hand lettering artist, Maida Leon, who contributed some really amazing hand lettered quotes that we gave her. And I just love partnering with other creatives and like-minded people because there's so much that can be done. So I added those little stamped phrases there. And if I had pre-planned it, I probably would have stamped first before gluing down, but it's done. I think that that is pretty much all I wanna put on it, except maybe it just needs one finishing touch, which is this dimensional foam sticker. Um, it says, hello weekend, but I actually changed my mind. And I said, amazing things will happen instead. Up here, I'm also going to add a lemon. Sometimes you have to know when to stop too, but the beauty about creating is that you get to be in charge with of what you want to do to it. I'm taking the watercolor set and I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, asterisk up here. You don't have to do anything fancy with your watercolors and don't be intimidated by them. If you are an expert and you love using watercolors, that's wonderful. I hope you find this set to be very usable, compact, and something that you want to take with you on your travels or just to have with you in your crafting area. These stickers are a great size. They're smaller than normal, and I think that you get a lot of letters, so you can mix and match the shiny with the glitter if you wanted, but I stuck with just the shiny for always, and I'm going to grab this Kelly Creates marker. This is her dream pen, and I'm going to finish off the title with the thinner end. I love the thinner end. I've never used a pen quite like it, and I think that it's an awesome way to mix and match what you want to put down on the page. So a little bit more washi tape because you can never have enough. And I thought I was done, but then I realized that I wanted to use one of these and stick it down right here. So it's already stuck onto a foam dot, but I wanted to highlight a little bit more yellow. So I'm going to add um, something there, but you know what? It actually, I didn't like the way it looked because it didn't show up enough. So I'm covering it up by making a splotch which if you've been following me for a while, you know that I mess up. Once it was dry, I added the Uruguay 2018 sticker right on top of it. Now for the second layout, it's going to be a square. I think this the dimensions were seven by seven or nine by nine. I can't remember exactly, but it, yeah, so nine by nine, I believe. And I decided that it was going to be focused mainly on the avocado slice because I want to show you different ways of sh using that uh, icon instead of just thinking that you have to have it be food related. So it came to me that it would be fun to do this title where I express my affection for JC, my husband, and this was a photo taken in Kauai. We were there earlier this year, and I'm so sorry about the lighting. You know what, this really bothers me. And I almost did not even show you guys this layout, so if anybody gives this a thumbs down because of the lighting, please just understand that you know this was the best I could do with what I had. This was, I think, done at 10.30 at night, and I tried to use my ring light and some other lights, but it was just not, it was not helping my cause. 
Plus, I just wanted to get this layout done, but also I wanted to show you the process. This is one of the reasons I think that YouTubers actually don't make videos or creatives get down on themselves because they're so worried about these little things that, um, and I know lighting is a big thing because I should get that right, but it the alternative would have just been showing the finished product instead of showing how this came together. So I know you Fandrians out there just appreciate seeing the pro process and know that it's time consuming and difficult to make layouts. And of course, when you mess up like I just did, where I had to pull it up off the page, then that's another story. But I wanted to adhere this right down there. And you could definitely cut off that little hole, that little loop on the top if you wanted, but I just kept it there. And I'm looking for some stickers to embellish and go around the photo. This title just sort of came to me and I was laughing like a crazy person by myself in the studio, <laughs> but I was so excited about how it sounded. And so I decided to use these rose gold clear stickers. And of course I could have just written it because this is actually based off of my handwriting, but I love how it looks and I love the size of it. And because I wanted it to fit, I started on the right side with these thickers so that I spelled it backwards instead of starting from where I may have run out of room. So it says, thanks for being my better half. And <laughs> I don't know why, it just cracks me up. I just love it so much. Anyway, so I underlined better half with the rose gold and also wanted to stamp this love letter stamp here onto white cardstock and just cut it out into a little banner that I'm going to add to the pattern paper. And this is just a great easy way. If you have some white cardstock laying around, you can always stamp on that and then cut it out to add to your busy backgrounds. I'm looking for some more of these little things that I can use. I'm going to sprinkle in some fruits here. And I think that these just add just perfect dimension and interest because they're so cute. Now to finish it off with this fish, I hope you enjoyed seeing Stay Sweet. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and make sure you're subscribed. I'd love to hear what you think of this new collection. And if you have any ideas for an upcoming collection, please let me know in the comments below. I love hearing from you and you might just see your favorite quote or expression on an upcoming collection with American Crafts. Thanks so much and I hope you feel inspired to get those creative juices flowing.